Happy Halloween, everybody. I bet you'll never guess what I'm dressed up as. Well, if you really want to find out, all you gotta do is just stay tuned to find out. Happy Halloween, brother. So what are you dressed up as, man? A zookeeper? What the hell? What kind of... Just because you put on a, a zookeeper hat from Miami Zoo doesn't make, make you a zookeeper, but hey, what, what, what am I dressed up as? I'm an American, man. What, what does it look like I'm dressed up as? That's right. This costume was brought to you by one of my cousins back home. She's uh, a bit on the older side, and this is what she got me, all right, as a gift as an American living in Mexico. Because, you know, of course, it's, it's so cold out here all the time. I'm literally, like, losing 10 pounds of sweat. I mean, losing 10 pounds of... Uh, uh, through sweating, you know, just wearing this, and uh, she also got me this t-shirt, and uh, this I got on my own, but uh, yeah, but anyways, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably, you know, thinking to yourself, oh, this guy's uh, a right-winger, am I, and now you're probably thinking, oh, this guy's a left-winger, am I, <laughs> and that's the thing, you know, we're so divided right now, we're so everything right now that we can't even create a costume and um, laugh at ourselves and make fun of ourselves like we used to as Americans. Uh, that's, that's how far away we've come away, uh, we come from uh, one end of the spectrum to the next. In fact, I was talking to my girlfriend um, about, you know, what I wanted to dress up as, because I wanted to dress up as, as something, you know, for today's episode. And uh, one of the first things that I wanted to talk about, uh, dress up as, was the Joker. And or, or dress up like a clown just because of what I was going to be talking about. But that didn't materialize basically just because I didn't want to paint my face and we couldn't get all that paint in time to film this episode. That's number one. But then I was like, oh, maybe I'll dress up as a, you know, I'll, um, as, a, as a female. I couldn't do that either. In fact, every time that I was thinking of, oh, I'll dress up as this, I'll dress up as that, it was just like, oh, man, this is not going to go well. So come forward to today where I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to dress up as for Halloween so I can, you know, uh, do this episode here uh, without having a heat stroke. And this is what I came up with, all right? This is what I came up with. You know, literally, I'm, I'm wearing the hottest piece of clothing that I have right now, okay? I'm in Mexico. It's like 100 billion degrees out there right now, okay? But anyways, speaking of which, that's what we're going to be talking about today. The temperature of the earth elevating all around the earth right now. I know, eh, kind of like a double negative there, whatever the fuck. But the point is, is that we're not talking about global warming. We're not going to be talking about any of that. We're just talking about the fact that, in fact, I made a list. Put it in my little trusty pocket here. I'm putting up my list um, of literally all the countries off the top of my head in which are going through some sort of, uh, ec uh, some sort of uh, rioting or some sort of uh, civil unrest at the moment. So I'm just gonna start reading off this list, okay? And we're gonna go from there. So, right now, Argentina, Chile, Ecuador, Honduras, Hong Kong, France, Spain, Haiti, Venezuela, Bolivia, Lebanon, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Mexico, India, England, Pakistan, and other countries in Africa. And, and again, I know there's a lot of other countries that I have even not even put on this list yet, but. What am I trying to say here? The world is in chaos right now, and it's only gonna get worse and worse and worse. This is kind of why I'm dressed as this right now, because I'm, I'm kind of like neutral in a sense. I'm, I'm just dressed as an American, because I'm an American. I'm, an, I'm, I'm a United States of American citizen, all right? That's really who I am. But I'm an American, no matter what. Even if I were to be Mexican, if you're Mexican, you're considered American. You're, you're North American. If you're Canadian, you're American. But regardless, I'm American. So I decided to dress up as someone from the United States of America. And, I'm, and, and, I'm, and, and I decided to like kind of put this costume on on purpose to fuck with your minds a little bit. So you guys can, fit, you know, you guys can uh, use your imagination and then, Again, put on me whatever label you want to put on me because that's the thing about what's happening with a lot of things right now. No matter what, everyone, you know, you guys, most people are looking at the news, but or mo most people are looking at facts or most people are looking at what's going on in the world and people are still deciding to stick to their guns and a lot of people are not even acknowledging the fact that all this insanity is happening around the world, but in fact what they're doing is that they're putting their head even deeper 
into the into the the proverbial uh, rabbit hole. I mean, uh, deeper. Ah, oh, hold on. All right, all right. Sorry, guys. I had to make a cut there because I was literally dying of fucking heat stroke. Okay, but as I was dying of heat stroke, um, as I was trying to create this episode, I realized, like, oh wait a minute, this is gonna make a great, great um, metaphor for what I'm talking about right now. So, as I was saying before, um, I really had to interrupt myself uh, before I passed out here, um, and I was going off and naming the, all these countries in which are going through all this turmoil right now. Well, that's the thing right now. You know, the USA, you know, the USA is the main country which needs to be revolting right now, have a revolution right now, pushing back right now, but we as Americans aren't doing any of that. And in fact, most Americans right now, just like a lot of people around the world, but a good majority of Americans right now, unfortunately, are living just like I am right now. Meaning that it's 100 degrees outside, but they refuse to take off this fucking jacket. They're sweating profusely under here. They're very uncomfortable. They're very unhappy. They're itchy. They're sweaty. They're nasty. But yet... They don't want to take this off because the minute they were to take this off, all of a sudden, it's telling the rest of the world, hey, I was wrong. And that's the thing. Most people right now are sticking to their ideologies, to their camps, to their whatever it is, you know, whatever, whatever it is that their, their guns are that they're sticking to. No pun intended here. All right. And um, even though a lot of people are starting to realize that man, maybe this ideology that I'm fighting so hard for doesn't make much sense. People are still unwilling to take off their proverbial jacket and cool off a little bit, or even even more, you know, take off the whole thing and just be like, oh God, thank God. Oh, God, that feels so much better. Woo! My goodness. So many people are just unwilling to do something like that because by doing this, all of a sudden, you know, you are admitting fault. You're admitting that you were wrong. You're admitting that you were wrong for wearing that sweater in a hundred degree heat. And most people just don't want to go through something as simple as that. But the point is, is that just as I removed this very hot, bulky, nasty sweater off of me, I felt this humongous weight being lifted off me. Sure, that was a very heavy, thick coat full of sweat. And yes, I do feel lighter now by taking it off, but that is just a metaphor for most of you guys out there as to like, you know, when you guys finally come clean out there, wherever you stand and whatever aisle you stand, and you start really pushing for truth, pushing for, you know, what really matters out there, then all of a sudden you start realizing that you were scared for nothing. You were scared of taking off that sweater because of a small group of people, what they might think about your opinion. But the reality is that that small group of people in which you are part of that tribe or ideology, it doesn't really matter in the long run. And when all of a sudden you're pushing for um, either gun rights or having no gun rights, and you all of a sudden, instead of fighting for gun rights or no gun rights or trans rights or no trans rights or whatever, whatever it is you're fighting for, when all of a sudden you sit, stand back and you're not fighting anymore and you're looking around and you realize what the hell is going on, all of a sudden things start getting a lot clearer. And then all of a sudden you start expressing your real opinions, how you really feel. And all of a sudden, before you felt like you would be alone and now all of a sudden you feel like you're, you, you found your group, you found your, your, your northern star, you found other people that are also just like you, that were also lost at one point, that were also being led down the wrong path, you know, through an ideology, through whatever it is, okay? And the reality is, is that right now, what's happening with society today, the reason we're seeing, you know, all, all of this turmoil all around the world, again, you know, right now we're seeing Argentina, you know, uh, pushing out, uh, electing a brand new president and pushing out the, the old neoliberalism uh, that was taking a hold of that country. Um, we see a country like Chile, you know, again, they just say, hey, we're going to 
you know, raise the price of the subway or the metro or whatever, and everyone's rioting. You look at Ecuador, and people literally pushed out the president and pushed everybody out because, again, they sold Julian Assange down the river. You go look at Honduras, you look at Hong Kong. You know, again, people in Hong Kong don't want to become part of China. That's another story for another day. The U.S. is probably behind the whole Hong Kong uh, protesting. But again, you're seeing a lot of things. You're seeing people splinter off. You're seeing, uh, you know, again, just all kinds of turmoil and war and everything. You know, you look at France. France is about to enter week 51, maybe week 52 by the time you're watching this, all right, of uh, the Gilets jaunes, you know, which is, again, week 52 for anyone that's counting out there. There's 52 weeks in a year. So that means that literally france has been rioting protesting for a year okay and yet you know you barely hear any news about it look at what's happening in catalonia and spain sure a lot of you guys might just be hearing about this for the first time but what's happening in catalonia and what's happening in spain the the, the catalonia is a region of spain which is breaking off from uh from spain or they're trying to and every time that they do all the proper steps in order to do that spain comes in and, and, and brings the hammer down or arrest all the politician or whatever and you know now you're seeing in spain that again this is something that's been going on for over two years now the people are revolting again because they started jailing all those politicians again that were trying to break away from spain so again it's like you know with the example i like to give about spain is like if california starts breaking off from Cal from the usa and then all of a sudden the usa federal government goes to california and starts arresting all these individuals which led the breaking away from the usa so that's happening there you know it's the same thing that's kind of happening with hong kong but it's a little different but anyways haiti again you know riots have been going on there for months um venezuela we already know what the deal is down there for the most part if not check out my older videos bolivia they just re-elected their president yet again even though they didn't want to re even though a lot of uh, people from the outside did not want that president to get re-elected even though the people of bolivia did want him to get re-elected um look at it, what's happening in lebanon everyone is on the streets enough iran iraq what's happening in syria you guys are already pretty well versed on that what's happening right now in Mexico, I mean, you know, right now, um, again, if you guys aren't familiar with what's happening in Mexico, uh, you know, super long story short, uh, the Mexican cartels have already made it known that they are the ones in power. All right. The people out here are basically in power as well. You know, whether it's, you know, these are just in the last several weeks, you know, whether it's uh, a whole city in Mexico literally grabbing the mayor okay from his office and dragging him around town just for not keeping his campaign promises to to the other extreme in which the federal government federal police led by <clears throat> you know um were instructed in taking one of uh, el chapo's sons um you know kidnap one of el chapo's sons from a city in mexico and guess what as soon as the police or the you know the the federal mexican government tried to do that the cartels let them know exactly who's in power and again if you guys don't know the end of that story what ended up happening was that the cart that the, the actual mexican federal government had to release release okay uh, el chapo's son back to the cartels because they were afraid of what these cartels were going to continue doing and again you know just to show and again when I talk about the United States government, I always, you know, they're the biggest cartel, the biggest mafia out there. But just, you know, just to give you guys a little, um, a quick little briefing on what's happening all around the world. What's happening in, in London, uh, in the UK with Brexit, you know, shit show all day. What's happening up in Pakistan? What's happening in India? You know, India and the United States are breaking off every single day. Every single day we're having even more turmoil with India. The USA is having even more turmoil every single day with China, China, you know, and so on and so forth. So, you know, there's turmoil happening all around the world right now. And the one country, the one country in which there really needs to be a revolution, a real big change, a real anything is, you guessed it, the US of A. All right. So, you know, let me put this back on. All right. So you continue this conversation, but... You know, at the end of the day, oh my goodness. Ugh. All right, let's try this again. So, as I was saying, at the end of the day, 
Um, if, if for, for a lot of you guys that watch my videos, which I know I don't make a lot of these videos anymore. I'm, I'm focusing more on Mexico, focusing more on, uh, you know, all the cool, awesome stuff because I'm trying to grow my channel here. And um, I, obviously, every time I post any kind of truth, any kind of anything, um, YouTube uh, censors the fuck out of me. But the point I was making is, the, um, is first of all, how the hell do I get this? On? Okay. It's been that long since I put one of these on. But look, guys, at the end of the day, what really needs to happen is that the military industrial complex needs to be put to a stop. All right? We, the people, need to rise the fuck up, okay? And put a stop to all this insanity. All right? That's really what needs to happen. But as you guys already know, every time that you guys hear anything on the news, it just splinters you guys off even more. It's either you're on Team Trump or you're not on Team Trump. And that's it. And then every and then and, and then on top of that, everyone is uh, you know fighting about all kinds of retarded shit. Okay. Again, just the fact that I said that word retarded, you know, is enough, you know, for not only this video to get demonetized, but for me to get in trouble. And that's the thing. We are now all of a sudden talking about these talking points, which absolutely make zero sense and have absolutely no real place in conversation instead of talking about what really needs to be talked about which which is what you know we need to talk about the fact that you know there's uh homeless people all over the usa and all over the world you know that, that the, the the economy is in turmoil and it's not doing awesome it's the, the economy has not been doing awesome for i don't know the 80s since the 90s i don't even remember the last time the, the economy was good and and just so on and so forth you know there's just so many things that is we're constantly being told, look here, don't look over here. And over here is where everything's going on. All right? You know, we care more about the Kardashians than you do about the economic uh, um, policy. You guys care more about, you know, uh, Trump, you know, whether he's the greatest of them all or he's evil, whatever, instead of really caring about, you know, um, his policies are really caring about the fact that we you know what's going on around the world how is all this stuff affecting us you know how are not only his words really affecting us but how are you know all these things that are happening around around the world affecting us you know like really you know how is it that you know all, all of these countries that I'm, I was talking about right now where did I put that paper I lost it already but how is it that you know what's happening in Argentina is affecting us you know, again, you know, as Argentina falls into turmoil, all of a sudden um, you're seeing the price of, uh, you know, Bitcoin go up. You're seeing adoption of Bitcoin go up in, in all these countries. Um, and then all of a sudden you're seeing the actual government of Argentina, which is run by the IMF, by the way, the International Monetary Fund. They're starting to put caps on Bitcoin. You can only purchase $200 worth of Bitcoin a month. All right. And so on and so forth. You know what I mean? You're, you're just seeing all kinds of... Uh, you're seeing all kinds of turmoil around the world. But at the end of the day, what's really happening is that everyone is finally had enough for the most part. They're pushing back and the people in power are just trying to salvage what they can uh, from everything that they built. But, you know, just as the banking system, just like a lot of these people that are in total absolute power start losing their power, and their influence in parts of the world, it doesn't mean that they're losing all their influence. They're just moving it from one point to another. So right now, you know, the as the United States, you know, um, is losing its influence as the world reserve currency, losing its influence um, with the dollar, losing its, its so many more, you know, influences that, you know, were run by the world central banks, you know, we're probably thinking, oh yeah, the central banks are dead, they're gonna be gone. Well, no, not really. They're just moving to China. They're moving to Mexico. They're moving to other places. You know, again, if you go to China, um, if you know about the Rothschilds and their history and the banking cartel in China, going back, you know, way before Nixon, you already know that they've been established out there. You know, if you're looking at what's happening in Mexico all of a sudden, it's like, you know, how are they planning to grow this country with banks? So just as the banks are losing their power and their foothold in other parts of the world, like the USA and Europe, well, guess what? They're just moving, you know, to another country, another place. And so right now we're just going through this massive, massive, humongous change. You know, there's people out there like Kim.com, Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, John McGaffey, and so on and so forth that are actually, you know, 
doing everything possible. There are soldiers on the ground trying to, you know, lead this um, mass wave of humanity um, to defeat, you know, these people that are in power. You know, the only way that we're really going to do this is through the technology. You know, again, that's why I, I, I like to at least bring up a lot of the Bitcoin, blockchain, all that stuff. And I know I haven't really briefed, I've talked about a lot of this stuff in a long time. I still talk about it on my Wednesday live streams. But, you know, at the end of the day, we are still at the very early stages of the early adopters. And, you know, the revolution isn't just one that's going to have to be taking on the streets. It's going to be a revolution of the minds. It's going to be a revolution of technology. It's just a revolution. All right? And that's basically where we're all heading right now. We're heading into an enlightenment period. We're li literally exiting the dark ages, even though most humans out there most people around the world for the most part and especially if you're Americans or you come from the first world you guys you know there's there's no way in hell that you guys will believe or even you know entertain the thought that we are in the dark ages but the reality is is that you know if you compare things you know on a historical perspective you know right now we are in, in pretty much like the dark ages but the beauty of it is that is that we're coming out of the dark ages and we're pushing into the enlightenment period a brand new enlightenment period all right and as scholars and historians look at this period of time in in the future they will look at you know literally the last hundred years not like a time of expansion not as a time of like awesomeness for humanity but i mean even though there were a lot of cool things that happened in the last 100 150 years but really more like in a sense of like a, a like a dark ages you know how as we you know enter the dark ages went through this dark ages period and then came out of the dark ages and that's what we're going through right now you know right now we're living in a time where it's like you know, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And, you know, every single day there's way more poor people and there's even fewer rich people. And that just keeps, you know, um, separating them itself even more as each day passes. But again, as, as uh, we are, you know, coming out with these new technologies of like Bitcoin and all these other newer technologies of decentralization, of getting away from government control, getting away from central banks, getting away from uh, corporations controlling everything, all of a sudden we are giving the power back to the people. There's billions and billions of people around the world. There's only a handful of banks, a handful of people in power. And, um, you know, as all this grows, so will the revolution, so will the enlightenment, and so will this you know, the whole thing, you know what I mean? Like, um, this, this just, this, we're only starting, we're only beginning. And, um, you know, the reason I'm wearing this, you know, more than anything else, honestly, is just because I think most people out there already know that we're at war, okay? Again, it's a war of ideals. It's an actual war of the people versus the, the you know, literally a war of the haves and the have-nots. It's only beginning. There's potential for countries like the U.S. To, to, you know, hit civil war like other countries are in civil war. But basically what's happening is that the reason that they want to fer form it, ferment, ferment that civil war is because that is the best way that the elites and the people in power can stay in power. Because there's only two real wars here. It's either we're fighting against each other or we're fighting the people that put us into this miserable place to begin with. And that's why they're always like, look over here at whatever dumb issue and don't look over here at, you know, the United States Federal Reserve, you know, printing $120 billion a day. Yeah, you heard right. Right now, the United States Federal Reserve is printing $120 billion plus per day to bail out the banks. But of course, we don't want to hear about that. You know, so let's talk about the Kardashians or whatever other dumb topic you want to pick and that's the thing you know it's it's keeping us to fight against ourselves and amongst ourselves so that we don't really know what the hell's going on because if we did we would be all wearing this and up in arms and you already know what the deal is all right and uh, this is not gonna be an easy fight you know that's why a lot of people choose to just uh, sit on the sidelines but it's getting really close to that time where you're not going to be able to sit on the sidelines anymore. That's why you're seeing all of these riots and all of this civil unrest all around the world. Because that's it, guys. There's no more room on the sidelines to sit. There's no more chairs. There's no food. There's nothing. 
and the people have no other choice but to take back what belongs to them. All right, guys. I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's special Happy Halloween Throwback Thursday episode uh, because I, I enjoyed making it. Even though right now I'm, I'm actually cooled off because I'm, I'm drenched in sweat under this thing. Um, and I feel better and I can go on even longer. I already see that I'm already past my time limit. So I got to put a kibosh to this piece of art right here. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons. I want to give a shout out to every single one of my viewers, every single one of my contributors, every single one of my helpers, every single one of you guys out there. I fucking love you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything you do. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys. If you want to see more of not just this content, but all the other content on my channel, all you got to do is please like, subscribe. Please check out the Discord. Please uh, check out Instagram. Please check me out on uh, all the links down below. Check out my website. Buy t-shirts. Um, you know, do all the cool stuff that you guys know to do in order to help keep supporting and have me helping make sure that this uh, whole thing stays alive. Anyways, guys. <clears throat> all right. I, I got to get going. I feel like I'm about to get a cold if I don't get this fucking thing off, all right? Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And uh, last but not least, don't forget to stay awesome. And uh, thanks again for being here. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys manana. Peace.